This is a video to demonstrate Quantel's integrated workflow with Octopus Newsroom. Using the Quantel Octopus integration, news broadcasters are able to produce a complete news rundown in Octopus. Firstly, let's take a look at our Octopus interface. Over on the left hand side I have my menu folders. In the centre, I have a news rundown that I'm preparing for tonight's news broadcast. On the right, I have a search tool that allows us to view all the material within the SQ server. As you can see, each of these news stories has media attached. This is indicated by the duration in the red box. Only one news story remains not ready. And this is Story 8, Royal Enfield Motorcycles. If I click on the preview button, I can open up a new window. This allows me to see in more detail any media or assets I have attached to this story. For example, here we can see that Story 1, Air Ambulances, has a full script, as well as attached media. The package is indicated as being ready. This shows that the media for this story has already been attached and is ready to go to air. However, before I take my rundown to air, I need to complete story 8. As you can see, this story has no attached assets yet, so the first thing I need to do is click on the edit button. This allows me to start adding in any assets or media associated with the story. So first, I'll add in my pre-prepared script. Now, using the server bin, I am able to filter the search to find a specific clip. Once I have found the clip I would like to use, I am able to drag that clip into the Assets bin. Next, I am going to create a placeholder on the server. As soon as I click OK, you can see that the placeholder's given name has appeared in the name box. I am now ready to attach an edit for this story. Select your chosen media and click on the Editor button. This opens up an embedded SQ cut. This allows me to view and edit my piece in a familiar environment while still working in the same workstation as my news rundown. As you can see, our chosen media has been docked to the edit window, and I have the beginnings of an edit already on my timeline. I'm going to select a few more shots to complete it. So I'm just going to drop my shot selections to the end of the existing edit on my timeline. Once I've finished my edit, I can find my placeholder in the server bin, click Use Details, you will notice that the Publish button has now turned blue, indicating that this edit will now be published to our selected placeholder. Hit Publish. Notice that the package is now updated to ready in the preview window. Once the publish is finished, the only thing left to do before you can go to air is to save your changes and to make your rundown MOS active. This can be done at any point during the process of creating your rundown. So, over on our SQ Play, I can instantly see our news rundown in the playlist bin. So now I'm going to drag that out onto one of our playout ports. Over in Octopus, you can see that the rundown reacts accordingly, updating each news story to ready. Back in SQ Play, we just need to queue our program and hit the Take button to take it to air. In Octopus, the stories update to standby, to play, to stop as each story progresses. In this video, we have shown the integrated workflow between Quantel and Octopus. Using Octopus, we were able to create a news rundown that allowed us to quickly and effectively take a full news program to air using our SQ Play. Thank you for watching.